Hello, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of New Stark City and Hydra America alike. Welcome to another Liam Aiden gameplay video. As you can see, I am back with more Marvel Future Revolution today. I've really been enjoying this game. I've played it almost every day. I've not really been uh, putting a ton of time into it, but I've been logging on at least uh, every single day, uh, pretty much, I think, since it dropped um, about a week ago, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Look at Spidey there taking um, a quick selfie. I'm really enjoying it, so I just wanted to, to check and kind of give a progress update and maybe take a look at some of the new gameplay features that I've unlocked. But first things first, take a look at my current Spidey costume. This is one of the end of the earth um, Spider-Man suits, and I really love it. I think it's looking super fly. So I went through this in my previous video uh, where, where I was playing uh, Future Revolution for the first time. If you, if you didn't see it, then check it out. I'll pop a link in the top right hand corner and down below but um, basically one of the things that I am really enjoying off the bat about this game is the ability to customize your hero so there's lots of ways to do this including you know you can kind of customize their their abilities but one of the most obvious visually stunning kind of ways to do it is you can customize their costume and you can kind of mix and match with various different pieces and they have different abilities too so you can change um, the character's power level, get bonuses and things like that by adding a different piece of costume together. I've almost got all of this costume here, just missing the gloves. That one's super, super shiny. Um, but anyway, I'm really enjoying collecting uh, these costumes and giving Spidey new looks. One of the coolest things that I discovered in between um, last video and this video is that um, you, you don't actually need to... So you, th there's two separate things. Spider Punk. I love the Spidey Punk there. I love the tiny little spikes on his head. So basically, you can change the way your character looks, customize the appearance, can be separate from the actual abilities that you have applied. Um, so you can you can you know make Spider-Man look the way you want him to look. Like right now, I've got him wearing the uh, the End of Earth armor suit, as I said. But if you see on the right there, I've got this mis mishmash kind of uh, pieces right there. Mishmash, I should say. That's the phrase. Um, anyway, so those are the pieces that are actually kind of giving him his power. That's where he's getting his abilities from. But then I've just changed his appearance to look like th this consistent appearance here with the End of Earth armor. So two separate things. He basically your characters don't have to look weird like they're. A, a big, um, you know, a mess of lots of different pieces to get those abilities. The other thing that I've done is I've started a new hero. I also started Captain Marvel, as you can see right here. Now, she's only on uh, level 9, and she's only on power, under 20,000 power there. So it's quite different from my Spidey. I've only just started off with her. He's on level 34, and power level just over 69 so I'm a lot further along with Spidey. But initially, you can have up to three heroes uh, in your squad. My squad rank is currently uh, level 16, so it's kind of cool to add those different people in. As I've moved through, I've unlocked various different gameplay modes. Now, I haven't un yet unlocked any of this PvP content in the arena, so I'm yet to get to that, and I'll make videos about it when I do. I'm looking forward to that. What I have unlocked, I've unlocked the Operations tab here specifically these blitzes. So there are two blitzes that I've unlocked. One, the King's Return, um, where you're fighting uh, uh, Kingpin, obviously, and the other, the Great Threat, where you're fighting MODOK. Now, these are some of the rewards that you get down here at the bottom, gold, XP, um, a consumables box there, which is pretty awesome, give you those battle badges, which again, you equip to increase your power, and then a regular consumables um, that you can spend in the store and use to craft other gear. Now the important thing to note about both of these raids is that, see that little reward count there in the bottom right hand corner? You can get these rewards three times every day in each raid. So we're going to have a go with them right now. They're going to go by pretty quickly. I'm going to be in there with other people, so other players are assigned as you can see at the top there. Um, so I'm going to be playing this with a bunch of other characters in here, other real life players. It's going to go by pretty quickly, but you can do this three times a day with each raid, so I can do this six times basically. I can fight six raids today and get the rewards each time. Um, so this is pretty pretty cool. It's a fun kind of little mode, but I gotta say it does go by pretty quickly. Um, this is taking a long time to load the additional person. That's the only kind of um, downside there. So it looks like I've got, looks like everyone else is Doctor Strange. Looks like I'm the only Spidey here and three Doctor Stranges. So there you go. I've just set this to auto. Um, every now and again, I am going to kind of uh, throw throw a punch or take command a little bit there. But see how quickly we took care of those first few villains? This just goes by so 
so quickly. But it's a fun kind of way to get these little rewards. It's a fun way to team up with some of your other players before you've opened up the uh, PvP content. Um, and it's also fun, I mean, again, I'm just kind of blown away by the graphics of this game. The fact that this is running on my iPad now is, is really kind of awesome. Uh, it's fun to watch all of this kind of playing out. But these, these raids in particular are a little hectic. Um, there's, there's a lot going on, and when you're not used to it, um, the first time you play them, it's like, what? What is happening here? They're over before you know it. I think, presumably, as I get higher up and I'm, I'm fighting more, um, more serious raids, they'll get harder to complete, and they might last a bit longer and maybe even require a little more uh, skill and strategy. But right now, it's all, all pretty easy, but a lot of fun and a great way to get gear. So you can see the rankings on the side there. So I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm in second place here. I'm not used to that. So here we go. This is the uh, the final stage with Wilson Fisk himself, the Kingpin. I'm not going to skip this. Um, I'm the only person who's not skipping this. Sorry about that, guys, but I want to I want to show it in the video. So they'll be cursing me right now. But there you go. You don't have to watch those every time. You can skip them if everyone in the party agrees to. So here we go. Now we just got to take down the Kingpin. Now I was hoping that I could set off my ultimate ability, but it's not anywhere near charged yet, and I don't think it's going to get there. But look at me. I'm I'm holding on to position two, which I'm pretty pretty pleased about actually so you can see the the guy in position one is at level uh 35 so he's one level above me the other two are both lower they're in the 20s so boom that was quick there we go that was it boom anyway so it kind of makes sense that i came in second there i was the second uh highest rank in terms of power so it makes sense that i get the second highest damage and those are my rewards well that was kind of fun. See what I mean about it being quick, though? That was like one and a half minutes. Let's see how we do with MODOK. Let's give this one a go here. Let's sign up. So again, it's going to uh, see if there's anyone else who wants to play with me right here. And hopefully there are, so I'm not in this one by myself. Otherwise, I definitely won't do it. There we go. Looks like we've got some iron, iron men in there with us. Oh, and maybe it maybe a Doctor Strange too. That looked like a, a Doctor Strange there as well. I think it's a couple of Iron Men and a Doctor Strange. And again, fun. I, so far, I've not been in a raid, or even actually just on a regular um, playable level, and seen anyone else with exactly the same costume combination as my Spidey. Again, they're going to be out there, of course. Um, but it's kind of fun to see all these different different versions of the same characters and know that everyone's kind of kind of playing them. Now, maybe we'll get to set off. Spidey's ultimate in this battle because it is a little a little bit harder so maybe by the time we get to Modoc we'll get to get to launch Spidey's ultimate let's see let's see how this plays out boom cutting through these aim these aim soldiers here like the minions they are Oh, but now it gets a little more serious. Look at those giant exoskeleton walker things there. But they're no match for uh, two two versions of Iron Man, a Doctor Strange, and a Spidey. Boom. Okay, so this is it. Now we're going toward the showdown uh, with Modok. And there he is. All right, let's do this. So I'm a little bit further along on powering up my ultimate there, but I'm still not... Man, he's taking a lot of damage there from... Looks like... Uh, that looked like the one of the... That looked like Iron Man actually managed to get his ultimate off there. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll get to. But, ooh, I don't know. Look at that. Oh, he's nearly down. Okay, so we're not going to get to the ultimate, and he definitely hit me with that mind-controlling blast there. Oh, there we go. That was it. Boom. Second one down. Almost as quick as the first. What's our time like there? 2.13. There we go. Now, I didn't do nearly as well there in the ranking, but I don't care. You still get those rewards. That's still pretty cool. And like I said, you can do that six times a day between those two raids um, to get those rewards. The, the MODOK one opens up at the higher, a slightly higher difficulty level. Need to be 30 difficulty in order to get there, but pretty cool. They're a cool little game mode. And if you are playing the game, I definitely recommend you max them out. Fight as many raids as you can a day because those free rewards are worth it. Well, there you go. Um, that was it. 
I just wanted to do a little gameplay video today just to kind of give an update, show you where I'm at. Let's look out at New Stark City while we end the video right here. Can I, oh no, I was going to try and zoom out to get a close up on Spidey, but that's a little too close there. Let's just enjoy the view instead. Let's just, just enjoy the view over the city. So there we go. I'm really enjoying Future Revolution, but I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Um, maybe you're uh, you're playing it. Um, how's it going for you? Do you do you enjoy the race? Maybe you've opened up that PvP content. Um, let me know what you think, because I, I know nothing about the arena, so let me know how that's going for you. Maybe you've just got a really cool Spidey suit or a Captain America suit or whoever you're playing. Maybe you've got a really cool suit and you want to let me know your favorite one down below. Uh, whatever it is, I would love to hear from you. Love to hear your thoughts, comments, and criticisms as always. Well, that is it for me today. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, found it informative or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like, uh, a thumbs up down below. I really do appreciate it. And while you're here, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I drop new gameplay videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Marvel Strike Force, and occasionally uh, Marvel Future Revolution every single week. And I would love to have you along for the ride. That is all from Liam Aiden Gameplay today. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, look after each other. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility.